uh, I am very happy that uh, Venerable is here today. A few days back I met him in his residence and the, the purpose of my going there and asking him what was happening was that the Bodhu Balasena has an image that had been created mainly by YouTube that anything that is done by the Buddhist monks in Sri Lanka, especially when things do not look peaceful, they are engineered, organized and promoted by Buddha Balasena. I asked the Venerable for explanation for each one that I have seen in YouTube and he very uh, honestly explained to me that his organization, which is Buddha Balasena, has not been behind any of those activities. And this must be made very clear and I am here taking the opportunity to let people in the Buddhist community internationally to know that um, while certain things did happen and certain monks had been in the forefront of such activities, Buddha Balasena has not been the promoter of anything that is not acceptable in a peaceful society. The, I am of opinion that the issues that are raised by Buddha Balasena need to be examined as peacefully with, or in, with, dialogue, uh, with a decent dissent as well as a decent dialogue with all organizations that are involved in it. One of the most important things that I think we have to bear in mind is that the Buddhist community of Sri Lanka feel that there are certain aspects of their lives which need to be protected or which needs to be uh, brought to the, to the attention of the people so that they change their ways of living and continue to preserve the country's great service that have been rendered for over 23 centuries for the promotion of Buddhism. In London, I made a reference to the fact that if Sri Lanka did not preserve Buddhism the way it preserved along with the Pali Canon, the historical Buddha would have been completely say forgotten or he would be in the background because the Mahayana Buddhist traditions have played Amitabha Buddha and the Dhyana Buddhas and others as more important than the historical Buddha. So this is a thing that we need to preserve and this is our contribution to the whole world and I think that for us to continue our world mission, we have to get our Buddhist population here organized with education, with information, so that they will be able to give the message to the people in the proper way. It's very important that the people, particularly those abroad, know that Buddha Balasena is not an extremist organization. It does not undertake any kind of, um, they call it terrorist, I use the word terrorist within uh, inverted commas, and no actions that I had so far been able to associate with the Buddha Balasena could be uh, described as that. While we have certainly certain activities which I would be very unhappy about. And I have been very frank in making it very clear to the people, please make a difference between who is doing what. And again, Buddha Balasena has to clear its name and I think it is very important for it to carry on its work to tell the world that we are not extremists. We are not against any other religion or community, a linguistic group, or caste, or any other uh, distinction that we make of people. That the Buddha Balasena 
He is in the words of Anagarika Dharmapala. Budhvala Sena is like a, a family in which one of the children is ill. There are five other children, healthy children. And the attention of the parents, whether it is by way of time, by way of uh, additional food, medication, and uh, whatever other comforts that this child needs, will be given to that child. Now, looking after that child does not mean that the other children have been opposed. Maybe other children do not need the attention at this moment. Dharmapala made it very clear. He was talking for the Sinhala Buddhist community because that is the sixth child in this society at that time. Venerable Sir, I am very pleased that your ideas that you have discussed with me are so generous, so lofty and so compassionate that you do not think that our issues are to be solved what, through violence. You believe or through any form of uh, action which is not peaceful. You believe and you have made me very clear to me that you would like you to use education, communication, consultation and uh, discussion as means with those who have problems with us and get them to understand our way and make a big change in the way. And I recommend that approach because we Buddhists must always do things that are in relation to Buddha's own teachings. Compassion, loving kindness, the sympathetic joy, equality. These are what govern us. To us, all human beings are the same. To us, all religions have to be seen with intellectually, to understand what the differences are, but recognize that each religion has a place in this society because there are people who find solace or to whom their problems are explained or made clear in that particular religion. So, we, and Buddhism has this great advantage. It is not dogmatic. We do not force people. And therefore, we must show in many ways there are some superior qualities of Buddhism and see to the extent to which everybody recognizes that preserving Buddhism is preserving one of the greatest treasures that the human beings have.